I, I there is there is one more that I, which I think we must we must um, give, um, and it's it's from our colleague Stuart Brooks, who, who writes. As Professor Hines has noted, there are many racist and neo-Nazi groups that promote themselves as, quote, Anglo-Saxon. Um, would it not be more positive to find ways to promote inclusivity rather than try to defend a term which does have racist associations in the present? Um, surely as scholars, we are agile enough to find a replacement term. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, Chris, I was a bit in the, about the end of the first I'll, I'll say again. Um, as Professor Hines noted, there are many racist and neo-Nazi groups that promote themselves as Anglo-Saxon, in inverted commas. Would it not be more positive to find ways to promote inclusivity rather than trying to defend a term which has these racist associations, however unjustified um, in some contexts those may be, he asks, um, and says, surely as scholars, we are agile enough to find replacement terminologies? Um, well, I, um, I, th I, th I think, you know, th there, there, there is an issue of quantification and actual focus um, here, um, because as I said, how the um, key sources um, that I was um, discovering uh, by looking very, very carefully for uh, examples of this, of where we can actually see um, this uh, elements of this identity, um, this heritage being used by um, extremist uh, groups. And incidentally, it is also used by non-extremist groups. That's perhaps a point we should uh, bear in mind as well. It's not the only area in which it's appropriated. Um, and, and reused, um, did actually go through a certain number of specific um, channels. And that was why um, I would think rather than, as it were, generalizing the problem far too much um, to start with and say, we must somehow uh, get away with it. There is a more um, focused, uh, shall we say a more surgical, approach which identifies the um, the sources of influence which are um, the establishment of a, so self-styled neo-pagan cult groups um, that are claiming to be uh, resurrecting um, the traditional religion of the uh, Germanic peoples um, intense use of uh, I say intense use, I'm uh, um, exaggerating, substantial use of images and symbolism um, that is coming through uh, fantasy fiction um, and online gaming. Um, other than that, um, it is overwhelmingly a case of what, to use a, um, a, a, a Richard Dawkins term he would call uh, memes, they, they are elements um, items, symbols, tokens taken out of the cultural uh, range, which are totally stripped of their um, original context and indeed original meaning, but are simply reused as um, badges um, for that. Um, the overwhelming source of inspiration, if we're going to talk about the far right um, and racist, uh, groups is now quite openly uh, Nazi Germany.